Now I want to talk a little bit about degenerative disc disease. What is degenerative disc disease? Degenerative disc disease is more or less a continuing change uh, of the disc and uh, with the change of the disc uh, we see also uh, collateral changes at uh, the posterior part of the motion segment. Uh, degenerative disc disease uh, is caused uh, by most of the time by insufficiency of uh, the nucleus and the annulus of uh, the disc. The disc by itself consists out of two areas. We have the outer shell, what we call the annulus. It's a strong uh, container consisting out of a couple of layers of cross-linked collagen fibers. And inside we have in the center of the disc we do have uh, a gel-like structure uh, called nucleus. Uh, so we have something that uh, we call a hydraulic system that uh, allows uh, transmission of forces evenly to the end plates, the bony end plates, and to the outer shell of the annulus. And with this hydraulic system, we can absorb shocks, we can uh, allow proper motion in any direction, and uh, we do have a very effective system uh, for this required uh, biomechanics. The problem starts when uh, we develop cracks, cracks in the annulus, and uh, these cracks can normally be radial cracks or circumferential tracks. Uh, if we have these cracks and we increase the pressure, the hydraulic pressure of our nucleus, this nucleus material will be uh, pressed into these cracks and the cracks will start now to get bigger. If the cracks uh, reach the outer shell of the annulus, it can happen that nucleus material uh, extrudes into uh, the, the canal, that means outside of the disc center right into the place where normally nerve roots are. That means uh, like an eruption of a volcano, uh, material uh, that's causing inflammation is uh, right next to the nerve roots where it creates two problems to the nerve root. It creates inflammation and it creates mechanical compression. Both things are causing nerve root problems uh, and that can be a problem on the function of the nerve, that means uh, the problem uh, that the nerve cannot stimulate anymore the appropriate muscles, that means you will uh, not be able to lift your toe or you pull down your toe or a part of your limb. And the second thing is you will have pain, pain radiating in the area that normally is supplied by this specific nerve root. This is uh, the beginning of the problem and this is what we call uh, this herniation. This herniation is the beginning of this cascade. Uh, and normally if we are not doing anything uh, if the herniation is not as big, that is really causing a motoric uh, problem to the nerve root, we can normally treat uh, this specific patient with a conservative treatment. That means what we are doing here is an anti-inflammatory uh, drug application with some injections, some injection therapy combined with conservative uh, physical uh, therapeutic uh, motion preventing uh, therapies or we can put thermal that means heat or cold uh, temperature to the areas 
to calm down the muscles and calm down the inflammations. Uh, but the problem stays. We only can control the symptoms at that point and normally uh, this this is continuing to degenerate uh, in the future. It means it can happen that now uh, a so-called delamination process starts uh, and uh, the shells, the, the layers of the annulus are completely disrupted and the whole disc can lose its function. First we see what we call an instability that means the segment moves too much. The overall motion is increasing in that segment and this is something that our body immediately understands because we do have a lot of small receptors, nerve receptors in that area that is reporting immediately and instantly to our brain something is wrong here, too much motion. This area is supplied with a lot of uh, proprioceptors uh, because it's an important area to the human body because it's containing the central nervous system. The next step of this degeneration is uh, also causing narrowing of the disc space. Because uh, narrowing of the disc space is also causing narrowing of the foramina, where normally the nerve roots are exiting, as you can see here in this model. Here you see the nerve roots exiting uh, the uh, vertebral segment. And this again is now creating some reactions uh, from the body. Now the body wants to stabilize this hypermobility, that means there's too much motion, and the human body will start now to put calcium around this area. That means it will try uh, to resolve the problem by itself uh, by reducing the mobility significantly. And we run into what we call the second phase of this degenerative process, uh, dominated with hypomobility. Now uh, you have less mobility in that segment. And this is now forcing the next segments to take more uh, motion from the missing mobility of the degenerating segments.